Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. And so today we're going to talk about the Galaxy S10 5G that's going to be launching on T Mobile uh, on June 28th. So, right off the rip, I'm not going to hold back on this. Um, it's not coming to your town, more than likely. Uh, there's, it's only launching in six places, and that is going to be the place where they actually sell the phone, which makes sense. So there's some coverage maps out there uh, for the device and this 5G thing, I'm just not excited about it yet because of the state of 4G LTE. Even currently 4G LTE is not very good and it's not everywhere. So the 5G thing is probably going to not fall on its head, uh, but it's not going to be very popular if if the prices of 5G phones are very expensive. And the 5G version of the Galaxy S10 costs $1300. So of course, you know, they're going to offer you to pay for it monthly, which is $550 down. That's an entirely another that's a whole another phone. Uh or <laughs> or you can pay 1300 bucks up front. Uh, so 550 bucks down and like 31 and 32 dollars 32 dollars a month uh, for 24 months uh, or or uh, you can give them 1300 bucks so I looked at the coverage maps um, of, of these areas where 5g is offered folks don't don't you know I'm not trying to hate and, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do or not to do something but I guess I could tell you you don't have to be the first. You don't have to be the first to experience 5G. You don't have to worry about that. Give it some time. Let them come down on the prices. Because I know there'll be 5G phones that come out that don't cost 1300 bucks. Now the, the Galaxy S10 5G, it's a beast. 6.7 inch display. It's, it looks beautiful. Uh, I would love to have it. I would love to experience 5G, uh, but right now, 4G is not very good. So I'm not in a, in a hurry to run out and buy a, a 5G phone simply because the price is ridiculous. And, and it's, <laughs> it's gonna always be that way uh, with me personally uh, until I see otherwise. I don't see the point of spending 1300 bucks on a Galaxy S10 device, uh, on on a, a, a iPhone that has 5G or whatever the case may be, um, hopefully, and, and it has to come to pass. Uh, it has to get to a point where uh, 5G phones are going to level out like 4G phones, and then you're going to see phones that are 400 bucks, 300 bucks. It might take a year or two, maybe a year or so, year and a half, but it's got to happen. They are not going to sell a lot of these phones. For 1300 bucks you'll see some on YouTube uh, and you'll see review units of it they're already there pretty much because the Verizon version uh, is uh, is out and over in the UK 5g is rolling along you know what I'm saying so in this version the one plus seven pro is 5g is over there the the s there's a lot of 5g phones elsewhere uh, but here in the United States where I live at um, I'm not in a hurry to pick up a 5g phone if the prices are going to be 1300 bucks before tax not going to happen um i feel like it's um it's kind of like this we're going to up the number and make you buy it or have you thinking that it's so much better reality is the 5g speeds on verizon are pretty much okay now one let's talk about the speeds for just a second and then i get back into that the speeds are really fast right now because there's not a lot of people on the network. Like the Verizon speeds are ridiculous, almost as fast as my Wi-Fi. Um, and sometimes it was. I think it got up to like almost 900. Uh, I got have a gigabit, sir. Uh, but you know, if if the pricing of the phones is, is going to be in that range, I probably wouldn't be. I won't, I won't be doing 5G. Uh, but again, 5G is going to have to blanket. It's got to blanket everything. So the prices have to come down in order for them to really move this network because no one's gonna who wants to put down 550 bucks on a phone put down I didn't say buy 
put down. Who in their right mind is going to pay $550 deposit on a phone? It's going towards the device and you're still going to have a balance there. That's a lot of money. So I'm not convinced yet uh, because I don't see it yet. It's, you know, the, the 5G thing is popping up in six cities and you know, I'm totally happy that the 5G movement is going. But is anybody else out there thinking my 4G service sucks? You know, it's not as fast as what they claim I could get. Um, me, I do. I, I, it's keeping it all the way real with you, but I don't think 4G is even ever it ever it never topped out because they had to give cell towers. Like I have a cell tower in my house, and you know that'd be the only reason that I'm getting any kind of blazing fast speeds. Um, let me see here. I think I got the speed test app installed. Oh, I gotta install it uh, on my phone, but that that's the only reason I'm getting this great service in my house is because I have the speed test. I have the um, tower upstairs. So I'm gonna do a quick speed test here uh, and um, I'm gonna show you my speeds that I'm currently getting. How's it looking? 51? 50 yeah. something? The most I've gotten is maybe 70 or something in the house. But that's because I have the cell tower. Uh, which, which means, you know, they're, they're trying. You know, they, gave, they gave me the cell tower. I didn't pay for it. Um, you know, but reality is this is where our 4G network is. And the 4G network was promised to be way higher than this. This is, de this is good speeds. However, the 5G speeds are like 10 times that, you know, 20 times that. But when we hit the network running, we're not going to see one gigabit all the time. We're not going to see, I don't even see that that's 57 all the time. It's more like 20 something or, you know, 30 something. And, and that's fine. But where, 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 what is disappointing is the upload speeds. I would love for the, why can't we just have a leveled, I would rather have faster upload speeds because I do more uploads than downloads. Even on my one gigabit internet at my house, I told him, I said, can you split it 500 and 500? Like, no, sorry, we don't do that, we don't offer that. Why? There's tons of people that do way more uploads than downloads. And if they do that, give me a higher upload speed, give me 100 up. You know, that's gonna kill it's gonna be so much better. I shouldn't say kill. It's gonna be so much better than where I'm at now. On my home internet, 1,000 down, 40 up. That doesn't make any sense. Now, for a cell phone, you might say, well, Jay, you know, people connect to Wi-Fi. I beg to differ. I know a ton of people that actually only use cell phone service because they don't have the ability to get on Wi-Fi. And so they need the fastest speeds possible for their work or whatever it is. And they, they're always on cellular and they use a, a boatload of data every month. There are people out there that are like that. So what do those people do? They would definitely benefit from 5G. So T-Mobile's launching theirs on the 28th. Verizon has already launched doors. It's in these select cities though. It's gonna blank it out. I'm not rushing, I'm not rushing and, and jumping ahead of the gun. It's going to come out. It's just that the way 4G is, why should I be excited about 5G? I mean, my streams buffer still. You could you could live stream over 4G LTE, but I've seen some of those streams, and sometimes you start to sound like a robot. Uh, if you're not sitting right under a tower, you're not, you're not going to have the, the most pleasant looking stream. And that's that's just what it is. So 5G. When it ever hits my area, it's actually going to hit right around the corner for me. It's up in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but I don't live in Dallas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, a couple of key things I'm looking at here um, is the pricing of the phones. When is that going to drop? Uh, and, and I know we're early on, but Samsung is the first one to drop it in the U.S. And um, $1,300. It's just not worth it, man. It's not worth it just to say. Now the phone itself is amazing piece of hardware, 
that phone should be priced at about $9.99 possibly. And that's just my opinion. Uh, just because it has a bigger screen, a bigger battery, and some extra cameras, and it's, and it's capable of 5G. And I know there's going to be a ton of people getting the comments to say, well, they have to support this, and they have to pay for this, and you can't always want to get the lowest price on the phone. You have to pay for it. Okay. Like I was saying, we need to, we can actually control this. All we have to do is not buy it. Don't buy it. Now, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't buy the Galaxy S10 5G. I'm saying don't buy into these prices. Don't accept them. We all know that there's going to be 5G phones, like I said earlier, that don't cost 1300 bucks. But Samsung is always ahead of the game. They always bring the best. They put their best foot forward. I, actually, I would like to just have the Galaxy S10 5G. <laughs> I only have to have 5G. But just having that phone itself, whew, that's a sweet looking phone. I never even bought the Galaxy S10, and I really like the Galaxy S10. I bought the 10e, but I wanted to move up to the 10, 10 or 10 Plus, and I just never pulled the trigger. Uh, I want to, though, but the Galaxy Note is around the corner now. So, what am I supposed to do? Just wait it out. So, discussion video, how do you feel about the state of 4G LTE, and are we moving on to 5G LTE in the next two years? Are we really going to have a blanket of 5G LTE in the next two years? You guys really believe that? Do you honestly believe that? I don't know. Who am I? It's your man Jay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to leave a comment down below on your thoughts on 4G LTE, where you live at. Are you getting 200 down, 100? Are you getting these fast speeds that some of the networks promise? Um, are you stuck with like 0.0 and 0.2? Because if I didn't have that tower up there, those speeds would be like 0.02. It's, it is what it is. So, I'll see you guys in the comments section. I want to chop it up with you there, man. It's your man, Jay. I'll see you.